Winchester Sculpture Project presents Mormons with Miss Elizabeth Bennett, Episode 6, Life and Retirement. I think it is fair to say that I have lived a good life. My Scottish heritage formed in me the joy of hard work and the recompense that comes with educating young minds. I did not have children of my own, but each and every boy and girl placed in my care was as loved and supported as if they were my own. Teaching is not just about academics. My thought was always that youngsters, no matter their station in life, deserved every opportunity to participate in social activities the same way they were encouraged to reap the rewards of academic learning. Giving boys dance instruction so that they would also learn the art of courtesy and manners, allowing the girls to focus on classroom instruction without the distraction of boys and vice versa, of course, was good enough for wealthy families. So why not for all children? I'm getting off of my point. I feel that all of my efforts for these decades of children coming in and out of my life were worth every moment. Now in retirement here along the Cape Cod shore and at my house on Brookfield Street in Manchester, I have time to sit in the quiet, influenced I'm sure by my time at Teachers College in Hyannis. I can sit in the quiet reflect on a good life, and enjoy the company of many colleagues and friends I've met along the way. Miss Bennett died on September 1st, 1959. The irony, of course, is that that's the time when school would begin for another year, but it would open without Elizabeth at the helm. Her legacy lives on, however, in the many teachers and administrators she influenced, in the unique programs and policies she set into place, and in a special place on Main Street named in her honor, Bennett Middle School, now Bennett Academy. Her statue will grace the grounds of Bennett Academy and be a constant reminder of her fortitude, vision, and heroism for generations to come.